A potential clash between two state agencies over what to do about a camp of sex offenders has caught the attention of a state watchdog group. We're told the offenders will be moved. What we don't know is when, where, and how Florida's sex offender registry law will impact that. Eight on your side, investigator Walt Buteau broke this story and has the latest tonight. Florida has some of the strictest sex offender laws in the country, and that might be what played a role in deciding this wooded area would be a place for sex offenders, but that's not expected to be an option for much longer. Eagle 8 gives you a look at where the camp is from above, showing you how it's tucked away alongside US 19 Frontage Road and Brian Derry Road in Pinellas Park. We're told it was cut into the brush and bramble last year and now is home to about a dozen registered sex offenders who charge their ankle monitors with a solar device they set up. Home and business owners nearby say they were not alerted about who lives here, even though several offenders claim their probation officers sent them to this location. Yes. Yes. The Department of Transportation owns the land, but didn't know about the camp until Aid on Your Side asked a spokesperson about it. She says the residents will be moved, but she did not know when or where. One of the offenders who lives here tells us the sheriff's office in Pinellas County has been here since our story, and he says so has the Department of Transportation. The offender texted me saying, DOT came out here and said they are coming out to clear this area. Hour later, Pinellas Sheriff showed just to check who's who didn't tell us to leave. And I don't think that it's appropriate. That Denise Rock, founder of inmate advocacy group Florida Cares, talked to us from her office in West Palm. She says countless other offenders claim they were sent to live in the woods in other parts of the state, which may violate the Department of Corrections rules. Rock is one of many who will be watching what happens next in Pinellas Park. I think just in complete transparency, the people that are living in the woods should know where they're going in advance as well as the public should know where they're going where and when is still up in the air but we do know these sex offenders are required to stay in pinellas county while they're on probation in the tampa news center walt buteau eight on your side